All right, so this demo is going to talk about doing a split fountain rule. A split fountain is a gradient or a blend from one color into another. You can do two colors, you can do three colors. You can really do as many colors as you want. You're just limited by your brayer size. So this is a four inch brayer. So my gradient can only be four inches wide, okay? So I have my disposable palette taped down really good so it's not gonna move. My first color is going to be Prussian blue, and then I'm gonna fade into violet and fade into magenta. So my blue is already out, so I'm gonna take some violet ink. And I'm using, again, a clean ink knife. You don't wanna be contaminating the colors. Give it a good mix really quick. And where I put down the purple is important. So I'm going to take it and right up next to the blue so there's no gap, I'm gonna put my purple there. You want the ink to touch because if you have a gap right here, there's not gonna be enough ink on your brayer ever, okay? So there's my purple. I'm gonna scrape off my extra ink. Wipe off my ink knife before I dip it into magenta because again, you don't want to cross-contaminate your inks. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with magenta, just put it right there. So take a little bit out. And again, it needs to be touching the next color. And that should be good. So I have blue again to purple and magenta. So now what I'm gonna do is take my brayer and I have to dip it into the ink and roll it out underneath it. So wherever I want my gradient to go is where I'm going to dip into the brayer. So we'll start right there, dip it in, and then I'm gonna roll it out. So you can already see the three different colors. If I just stay in the same place, those colors are never going to blend. They're gonna be very stripy. So what I have to do is gradually shift from left to right just a tiny bit so that those colors mix where they overlap. I'm also continually picking up the brayer so that the ink distributes evenly. And the more I shift left to right, the more those colors are gonna blend. So you don't wanna do it too much, otherwise your colors will just mix together completely. So that's probably good. And you can see it on my brayer, they're nice and blended, okay? Now that I have my ink set up, and again, it's the same, I wanna make sure I have enough ink right here, it's kind of pebbly. I can see I have enough ink on my brayer. Now I can ink up my matrix. So this is where you have to also make some decisions. Do I want my gradient to go this way? Do I want it to go this way? Again, some of that depends on how wide your brayer is. If I do it this way, I'm gonna have some pretty big gaps on the ends. And by the time I ink across the entire surface, my colors are gonna mix quite a bit. I could also do it on an angle. And I think I'm gonna try that. So I'm going to take a mental note of where I ink up. So my purple is gonna go right down the center right here. And you'll notice with the split fountain, you can only ink up in one direction. If I start to go this way, my split fountain gradient is gonna get ruined. So you have to ink up one direction consistently. And this one's gonna take a little bit more ink just because I haven't printed it yet. So ink up this side. When I need more ink on here, I'm just going to dip into this and roll it out. And again, my colors, because my brayer is pretty short, they're gonna mix even more on my matrix, which is fine, that doesn't bother me. And I just got some red ink right there somehow. So 
that's probably good. So I'm gonna take this to the press, pull a proof, and you'll be able to see the gradient on the paper. All right, so here is my print. You can see that it mixes a lot more on the matrix than it does right here, just because my matrix is bigger than my brayer. But it transitions from magenta to purple to blue. So that's one example. I'm gonna show you one more example of using multiple brayers to achieve the same effect. All right, this is an example of a split fountain that gets a little bit more complex. Um, I have five colors here, so kind of a sunset range in color. You'll notice that my split fountain is pretty long, um, and I don't have a brayer that is that wide. Brayers come really, really wide. They just get really expensive. So what you can do instead is use two brayers to use the same split fountain on the matrix. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have my dark red, my red, and my orange be on one brayer. So I'm gonna roll that out. Again, shifting a tiny bit from left to right to blend those colors together. So there's one split fountain. Where they're going to connect is going to be orange. So my second brayer is also going to have orange on it. So I'm gonna roll that out. And then it'll fade into the dark yellow and the lighter yellow. So when I rolled up my matrix, I will use both brayers to achieve the full five colors. Okay, so that's good. So here is the matrix I'm gonna use for this example. So I'm gonna start with my darker color and we'll have it go from dark to light. So I'm going to ink up the matrix. Again, I can only go in one direction with the split fountain. So you wanna make sure you're still inking up all of the areas properly. And this had a little bit of black ink left on it, so it might change my colors a tiny bit. So I've covered about half of my matrix. Now I can switch to my second set. And again, the orange connects in the middle. So I can do the orange overlapping. Again, making sure I still have a plenty of ink on the matrix. So I'm gonna finish inking this up and then I will pull a proof and we'll see what it looks like.